So I'm gonna go over to the mushroom yard. Uh, we're in process of in the process of moving moving them over. We kind of cleared a spot on the north side of the slope, and that's gonna be much cooler and um, just uh, wetter for the mushrooms. Because even in the summer, the, the sun comes through this area and tends to dry out our logs a little bit. So this is the mushroom yard. We have lion's mane mushroom over here. Uh, we haven't gotten any fruits from that. And then we have the shiitake stacked up. That's starting to fruit. Uh, and then we have blue dolphin oyster and golden oyster and Nemeco and um, shiitake. We have cold and warm weather shiitake. And we also have maitake buried in a few spots over here. And those take two years to fruit. So hopefully this year we can, we'll get some maitake. That'd be awesome. And the maitake are really hard to grow. They're, um, they're not as easy to inoculate as the sh shiitake or oyster. Um, we had to like sterilize the logs in, in a, a pressure cooker and then um, have those sterilized logs in bags. Uh, with the spawn for a certain amount of time. I think it was around a month and then After that they got planted into the ground I guess you'd say planted So right now the shiitake are fruiting I did see some oh, I'm, I don't want to fall backwards. <laughs> I did see some slugs on them earlier when I checked on them yeah, you can see the slime from the slugs. And for a little bit last year, we had the ducks fenced off over here, hoping that they would eat the bugs and the slugs over here. Um, they must have, they must have, but um, I, I don't know if, I don't know if they really liked it. I mean, they prefer the ponds, so. We like having them out so they can go to the ponds. Look at maple creeping over there. <laughs> um, so when we inoculated the shiitake, uh, we drilled holes with a uh, angle grinder. Got an angle grinder and drilled holes and then um, plugged it with the, the spawn. Maple, come bring me your block. I'm gonna put, put this on my knee, hopefully. No, that's not really a good angle. Um, so we plugged it with a spawn. Uh, it was just sawdust and the mycelia. And, um, and then sealed it with cheese wax. And we did that maybe three years ago. Two or three years ago. And yeah, since, since we've, we've done that, like, uh, Bugs have gone in and eaten the the spawn, the mycelia out of the the holes. Um, and last year they did fruit out of the the holes, or you know the little plugs that we put in. Uh, but but this year, you can see they're popping out of the just the the log, which is awesome. And look, what are these bugs? Like, what the heck is that bug? Can you see it? It's, I've never even seen that bug. Oh my gosh. So, excited to get some, our first flush of shiitake this year. These must be the cold weather ones because it's, it's still quite chilly. Oh, see, look. Look, do you see? So exciting. Finn loves mushrooms, which is awesome.
but he's quite picky with vegetables. I don't know what that's all about. I guess it's just a normal little kid thing. Where are your shoes? I know. Finn was watching a movie in the cabin. I was hoping he'd take a nap, but Finn never naps. I don't know what I was thinking. <laughs> and see these little, these little shiitake. I'm taking a video of our mushrooms. And Maple always has her ear flipped over. One or both. Oh, see? See, I'm not the best at throwing. I either, like, lead her through a path where she tramples on, like, something really important, or... <laughs> like, I just hit her. I threw it on her. Oh, we also, we had, um, uh, burlap sacks laid out in this area, uh, inoculated with wine cap mushroom. And we had those laid out for, um, a year, I'd say. And uh, recently uh, brought those out and put them around the, the, a few of the fruit trees. And we have wine cap mushrooms all in the garden, um, the main garden by the, the main house. And those, those are just like awesome.